everybody. Welcome back to A Late Show. Folks, my first guest is a Golden Globe winner you know from Notting Hill, Florence Foster Jenkins, and a very English scandal. He's currently starring in the limited series The Undoing. Miguel. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Well, you look well, my friend, huh? Leave him alone. He's my patient, Fernando. Just get your hands off him. You look strong. That's great. I'm so sorry about your mom. Don't talk to him. I want you to know that what happened to your mom, Miguel, I didn't do it. All right. Yeah. It's all right. Come on. Go to your room, Miguel. No, he should know that. Go to your room. Go to your room. Go to your room. He needs to know that, and so do you. There were lines I crossed, but I did not take Eleanor's life. Wow. Please welcome <laughs> to a late show, Hugh Grant. Hello, Hugh Grant. Well, hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> nice to have you here. That's so weird. You say welcome, and one thinks there's going to be clapping, and there's no clapping. No, there's, there's no clapping. It is, it is a little odd. Is this the first of these you've done in COVID times? Yes. Oh, you're going to love it. I find it. <laughs> I'm, I'm hating it already. The, the, sil <laughs> the, the, the silence. You can imagine any reaction you want at any time. You just paint the audience you wish. I can't do I, I need constant affirmation and applause, even when I'm filming. Well, Hugh, I think you look great. Really? For Not a man just of saying your age, For a man of your age, you look amazing. Oh, well, I, I can't disagree. Where in the world are you zooming in from now, uh, Mr. Grant? I, I'm in London. I'm in the West End of London, which is completely deserted. We're in another lockdown. In a hotel, which is also completely deserted. I literally am sitting here alone in a large hotel. The only person I've seen is a little girl riding a tricycle in the corridors. It's is very this, Is this scary. the hotel from The Shining? Because I believe that's what happens in that movie. Do you know that's, that, that rings a bell, yes. Don't use the elevators, is all I have to say. Don't, okay. don't use the elevators. So what is that, how long have you all been in lockdown? Because there's talks, it's spiking in the United States too, and there's talks that some of the big cities especially might have to lock down again. What, what is, how long ago did that happen for you all? Uh, a week ago. It's supposed to be just for a month. I, I, and, and I'm not sure everyone's got quite the same enthusiasm they had the first time round. No, of course not. We're all not. supposed to be in our homes, but I've never seen the streets more thronged with people. What, you what virtually is it, have to form a line to get onto Piccadilly. What is it supposed to be? Like, what is the lockdown rule? Now? Well, it's supposed to be uh, no, no restaurants, no bars, no, and only essential shops. But every shop seems to think that it is, in fact, essential. You know, florists are open. Well. You have to a little cheer in your day. Yeah. Um, how about how about in your household? Is everybody healthy? Have you guys um, been able to avoid it? Uh, well, I had it. Uh, my wife and I had it way back in the winter, and uh, so we well, back we in even March? have antibodies. I'm I'm rather proud of them, so we're not going to get it. I I don't think. So you got it back uh, in March. You actually had it. Yeah, I think I got it in sort of February, and. Um, you know for a fact, like you were yes. tested or? Yeah, well, I've had an antibody test only a month ago, and I still have those antibodies. So I know it was, that's what it was. And it became clear. I mean, it started as just a very strange syndrome where I kept uh, breaking into a terrible sweat. It was like a poncho of sweat. Embarrassing, really. And then uh, my eyeballs felt about three sizes too big. And this, uh, a feeling as though some enormous man was sitting on my chest. Yes. Sort of Harvey Weinstein or someone. OK, that's not and good. And I thought, I don't know what this is. And then I was walking down a street one day, and I thought, I can't smell a damn thing. And, and you start to panic. Because by then, people had just started to talk about this as a, a symptom. And I started sniffing flowers, nothing. And you get more and more desperate. I started sniffing in, in garbage cans and then you know, you want to sniff strangers' armpits because you just can't smell anything. And I, I eventually went home and sprayed my wife's uh, Chanel Number no. 5 directly into my face. Couldn't smell a thing. I did go blind. Wow. <laughs> but I, uh, well, that's why yeah. florists are essential workers at this point. Yes. Is that It's a yes. test center. You go into the floral shop and say, give me a dozen roses. And if they don't, yes. sp <laughs> if they don't smell, you just yeah. toddle on down to the hospital and you'll be fine. Um, yeah. how, how is quarantining, you, I understand you have young children. 
Is this true? Yes, yeah, so I have a, a dozens of them. I'm, uh, oh, but good. I'm quarantined with three, a, a boy and two small girls. I had, I am old, but I had children very late in life. So I, yes, I've been locked up for well the first time for three and a half months with a four-year-old and a two-year-old girl. Um, but the answer, it's, it's been all about Barbies. I don't know if you've got kids, but... It, from, I do, I have three, you know, but they're past Barbie. Uh, is one ever past Barbie? Because I played with them, their Barbies. And, it, you know, to start with, you think mm. I'm just being nice. And then I realized, even after my girls went to bed, I was still playing with the Barbies. Sure. In you fact, have the Barbie right, you have the right to a Malibu dream house as much as the next person. I think I do. And I enjoyed making them fall in love. They became very fond of each other, these two Barbies. In fact, on. I think one of them was... Well, one of them was Barbie, one of them was Elsa, I think, from Frozen. OK. And they developed an mm -hmm. affair. Mm -hmm. I took photographs of them kissing each other and sent them to friends. That's what happens in a really mm -hmm. long lockdown. No way my audience is tuning away right now. This is Super Bowl ratings. <laughs> Hugh, Hugh, Hugh Grant describing Barbie porn is... That's a huge bump. Thank you very much. Well, you get desperate, you know. Okay, you have a. Uh, we, we have we have to we have to move on from Barbie porn to your new limited series, The Undoing, where brace yourself. You're playing a charming Englishman who may or may not be a sociopathic murderer, as we saw in the clip, just just up top there. Um, I think he is, and and I want to see your reaction to that. You're the murderer. <laughs> Nothing. See, uh, that's exactly how a murderer would laugh. That's yeah. a sociopathic laugh. <laughs> yes. Well, oh no. Who did knows? You, did you? Are you it? Just you. Obviously, you can't tell me the truth. But just, I want to ask anyway, just because for the audience's sake. Are you? Did you do it? Did your character do it? Well. Uh... Simple question, Senator. Where are we now? I, I, if we're, this goes out this week, we've watched three episodes. Of course he hasn't done it. No, he's not a perfect man. He's had an affair. He, he let Nicole Kidman down badly. He's had an affair with this hot mama from school. And um, he hasn't behaved well. Hugh Grant, please say... Do you have, goggle, Hugh, do you have goggle box in, in America? <laughs> goggle box? Yeah. What's goggle so box? Do have we have that here? No. What's goggle box? We have a show where people watch... You, they're filmed watching TV shows. And it's very funny. They're real people. Oh, sure. And All reaction watching, videos. I like those. Y yeah. And they're what they, I've been watching them watch our show. And uh, I've been particularly enjoyed their reaction to me having sex with this hot mother and then going home and having sex with my wife, Nicole. And they're going, oh, look at that. He's a dirty doggy, double dipped. <laughs> 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 uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I bet I'm gonna he didn't wash his willy after Right there. I'm going to leave that, that one right there, mister. Okay, okay. Okay. Uh, so, do you watch yourself, by the way? I just saw you, you. Were you watching you in that clip? Like, do you ever watch yourself perform? Or are you? Uh, yeah, I watch it, yeah. I'm, I'm quite interfering. I like to, you know, make notes during the edit and bully the director. Oh, they love those actors. I know. I know there's nothing the director me. likes I'm better so than actually going, you know how I would edit this. That's yeah, it's a, just a bit more me. Mm -hmm. That's that I, I always yeah. say, you know what the show needs? <laughs> a little more Stephen Colbert. Yeah. Now, uh, exactly. uh, I understand that you are, and I don't understand this term at all, a reluctant actor. What does that mean? Is it hard to convince you to do roles? Most actors are out of work, Hugh. Yeah, so I sound spoiled. Yes. It's only fear. I, I, I developed a fear, a sort of stage fright about, I don't know, 20 years ago, out of nowhere, in the middle of filming Notting Hill, in fact. I sure. suddenly just started schwitzing and couldn't remember my lines. And, and I, so I live in fear of fear. But I'm, I'm better now. Well, I'm we have better. nothing to fear but fear itself, Hugh. I don't know if you know yes, that. Yes, that's right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. you. You You're full of pearls. Uh, Yes. Anyway, well, I've, I've, I've been, I've been called full of other things, so pearls I'll take. <laughs> um, and always, always delightful. I know you don't do a lot of this stuff over in the United States. Uh, really grateful that you stopped by. Thanks for being here. No, no, well, thank you for having me. 
The Undoing airs Sundays on HBO and streams on HBO Max. It's Hugh Grant, everybody. We'll be right back with Grammy Award-winning musician Sturgill Simpson. Stick around.